In search of the filmmakers who embody the South African identity, Daniel Nkumani saw the need to review Daryl Ruud's films. Daryl James Ruud was born on the 28th of April, 1962 in Johannesburg, South Africa. He is a well-recognized motion picture director, producer, and screenwriter. Daryl studied at the Witt University and is commonly known for his 1992 film, Sarafina. Daryl is 67 years as of 2019, and he's married to Christine Benito. Daryl made his name known with films strongly condemning apartheid, like A Place of Weeping, 1986, and Sarafina, 1992, starring Whoopi Goldberg. Sarafina, During the apartheid era, he was astounded that no one was addressing these awful conditions through the medium of film. So when I made A Place of Weeping, it was the first openly anti-apartheid film by a South African, said Daryl. He strongly believes in the essential dignity of all human beings. His films make use of very prominent product placements. Tier Grond is one of the films which depicts cruelty of farm murders. His films sometimes star the same characters because he writes with character in mind and envisions how actors might embody the role. His film, Sarafina, was screened out of competition at the 1992 Cannes Film Festival. His 2012 film, The Little One, was carefully selected as the South African entry for the Best Foreign Language Oscar at the 85th Academy Awards. His 2007 film, Macy, won the Best Film at the KKNK Film Festival in March 2008. He then earned an EIUC award at the Venice Film Festival in 2004. His film, Yesterday, 2004, was nominated for the Academy Award for the Best Foreign Language Film, as well as the Independent Spirit Awards for the Best Foreign Film 2005. Sarafina is a 1992 South African film directed by Daryl, starring Leleti Kumalo, Whippy Goldberg, Miriam Makeba, John Kani, and Tertius Menkes. The plot centers on students involved in the Soweto uprising, in opposition to the implementation of Afrikaans as the language of instructions in school. The character Sarafina feels shame at her mother's acceptance of her role as a domestic servant in a white household in apartheid South Africa. with you anyway have you gone crazy yes i've gone crazy you want me to lose my job yes and who's gonna buy your school books school books are full of lies and inspires her peers to rise in protest especially after her inspirational teacher mary masibuko is imprisoned in the opening scene sarafina is talking while staring at nelson mandela's pictures at the time the south african icon was still imprisoned mm -hmm. In the last scene, Sarafina is again talking while staring at Mandela's image on the wall, criticizing him for being gone for a long time and not responding to the nation's pleas, idolizing him as someone who can change the horrific situation that the black government of South Africa is in. The film was shot on location in Soweto and Johannesburg, South Africa. Daryl Root directed the script with Mbongeni Ngema and William Nicholson. Daryl is regarded as the South African's most prolific director. He contributed a lot by being brave to direct controversial films to voice out frustrations of the oppressed through filmmaking. He has inspired a lot of emerging filmmakers, including film students at the Twani University of Technology, 
by being a consistent, skillful craftsman who embodies the genuine South African identity and production film industry for us to be recognized as a nation. His significant contribution to incorporating the South African identity came as a form of writing truth South African films that he produced. His significant contribution to incorporating the South African identity came as a form of writing true South African stories that he produced and provided directions. His films were screened overseas to represent the South African identity under the category of Best Foreign Language Oscar Awards as Indigenous Films. Daryl's films varies in terms of style. He employs realism and formalism approach depending on the theme of the film. Realism refers to the reflection of reality being reproduced through a camera. Realist films keep the editing and cut to minimal to maintain a flow of continuous gaze, meaning that the filmmaker chooses to create less staging and more prominent feel of the natural performance. In contrast, formalism refers to how a film is presented to a viewer. Formalist films will use lighting, editing, sound effects, and other aspects of Maison scene to enhance viewing experience. Third Cinema is an appealing cinematic movement that guided filmmakers throughout the regions of Africa, Asia, and Latin America. The third concept of cinema is used to distinguish it from the first cinema. The ideologies were firstly well-defined and used as the demonstration to filmmakers in the 1960s and 1970s. Third cinema still influences filmmaking approaches and plans today. It carries on evolving political, social, cultural, climate changes throughout the world. The nature of third cinema reflects a groundbreaking atmosphere and delivers its message with assurance. It also portrays frustrations with morals. The idea of third cinema's significance in filmmaking history is its power to provide a social comment with the aim of inspiring change. Third cinema takes a different approach to filmmaking by threatening cinematic programs receiving revolutionary ideals and opposing the lifeless film watching experience of commercial cinema. Third cinema is a radical practice similar to new struggles of this period, formed with the intention of provoking debate amongst its viewers and proposing other ideas of the past, present and future. The concept of third cinema has developed to address problems in the national building plans. The concept of third cinema has developed to address problems in nation building plans to express discouragement in response to new forms of cultural oppression. Third cinema's visual innovations involve mingling of different genres and visual styles to set both cultural and political critiques rather than aiming merely for creative fineness and expression. The filmmakers of cinema select their visual elements and compositional structures to suit their message, which is why the films of third cinema are so diverse in their style and form. The third cinema maintain their link to the principles of questioning and challenging the structures of power, opposition, and teaching those who live under the struggle to unite against its power. Third cinema aims for the liberation of the oppressed, whether this oppression is based on gender, class, race, religion, or origin. Third cinema opens a discussion with history to challenge previously held ideas of the past, to show their legacies on the current, and to tell the unknown struggles of women, improvised nation groups, and subgroups. Third cinema opens a discussion with history to challenge a previously held ideas of the past to show their legacies on the current and to tell the unknown struggles of women, impoverished and native groups. Third cinema challenges viewers to reflect on by the experience of poverty by showing how it is lived, not how it is imagined. It tries to improve and reshape the nation using politics and ideas of the people. 
The film Sarafina has elements of third cinema because the residents in the community joined hands together despite their differences to stand in one accord against policies of apartheid and the oppressed black people in South Africa. Sarafina indicates problems of struggles of apartheid and deeply condemns the movement of apartheid and its laws. The film shows how students are unfairly treated by the existing policy of apartheid. Sarafina, the sugar is finished. Today he took it all. I saw him. I saw her too. Yeah, well, I'm a little sight on it. He took it all. I wish I had a bad look. I wish I slipped and never wake. 